downward facing dog at the wall. This is a great way to start practicing downward facing dog, especially if you have shoulder or wrist injury. It requires much less weight bearing than if you were doing just regular downward facing dog on the floor. So this is a great way to begin, or if you just want a little stretch, this is one of the best ones there is. So you turn to face the wall. Step your feet back, maybe like three feet away from the wall. With your arms outstretched, you're going to slide your arms down the wall and walk your feet back until your torso is parallel to the floor. Then you want to actively push your hands into the wall. And as you push your hands into the wall, engage the muscles of the arms and use that energy to draw the shoulder blades into the heart. As the shoulder blades move into the heart, expand with your breath and stretch your waistline long. Take a few more breaths here and really find how the feeling of the inside of the pose, the breath on the inside of the pose, creates a feeling of opening and energizing. to come out of the pose, inhale and walk forward and then release your arms down by your sides. <laughs>